Hello again everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays GTA 5 Manhunt. We're down to only two hunters and a controller this time, so whether that'll make things easier or harder uh, remains to be seen. It could go either way because um, with more, more hunters the controller has to concentrate harder and spend more time thinking about what they're getting each individual, um, each individual driver to do, whereas when there's only a couple of them maybe it's a little bit easier? I'm not quite sure. I'm also suspecting I'm in a particularly bad place here. Is there, is there a way out of here? Uh, that's not it. I mean, is there a way off this island in particular? I, I'm, I have a horrible feeling I should be up on that bridge there. Um, anyway, uh, let's... what's this? Oh dear, I'm very, very lost. And I don't think I want to be here. This may be a rather short run if I can't find a way out of here. Um, I think I'm heading down into the wrong part of the port. Um, I'm going to carry on following this road and see, see what happens, um, because there's not much else I can do from here. Yeah, this must be the far end. Okay, this this is um, this is not good. <laughs> okay. Alright, so one of the other things you might have noticed is that I'm driving a truck this time. Uh, that's because we thought, for a, for a bit of variety, for a change of pace, we'd uh, we'd have a trucks only session. So we're all going to be driving um, he heavy industrial vehicles, like that one for example would be another example, uh, could, could have been one of them. And that's why we've started down here in the, and that could be as well possibly, uh, that's why we've started down here in, the, in the, sort of the port area, because this is where all of the big heavy vehicles tend to spawn. It does mean it's going to be harder to change vehicles should I feel the need to, perhaps because I get some tyres dropped out or something like that. Um, but, but it also means we'll all move a little bit more slowly and perhaps that'll make it easier to, to evade. Oh, for goodness sake, where am I? I don't, I don't know this part of the map at all. I am so hopelessly lost. I'm going to try and get on that railway line there, because I, I think there's a bridge there that I can use to get me off this, off this tiny little island. Once that train goes past, I can hopefully... Oops, how much train is there? There we go. I can now skedaddle up, up this bridge and get out of here, because I was feeling very, very claustrophobic and um, trapped on that island. So, other than that, we're, um, other than the fact that we're using the big heavy trucks for, uh, for, the, for the variety, as I was saying, the rules are pretty much the same. We've got the um, the, I the idea is that uh, we're not they're, they're, they're trying to hunt me down and kill me. I'm trying to stay away from them as long as possible and survive. Uh, they're not allowed to use automatic weapons when they're in their vehicles because that's just a bit too easy. There's this tendency for a, a row of bullets to scythe straight through all of your tyres, probably through your cab and through your head as well in one go and that's just a bit overpowered. So when they're in vehicles, they're only allowed to use pistols, uh, single shot pistols at that. However, if they get out of the vehicles, we've decided that they're now allowed to use um, machine guns. So if they, if they can set up a suitable, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A suitable ambush for me, and they can, they can guess where I'm going to go, perhaps because I'm heading along a, a boring straight railway line like this, then they can set up, a, they can set up an ambush for me and, and try and jump me like that. Uh, with with the with the heavy weapons now how train <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh right okay that was mild that was somewhat terrifying <laughs> are these pipes moving yes they are okay so as as I was saying um, automatic weapons are only allowed if they're not in the in in a vehicle. Um, we're not going to allow rocket launchers because that's just a bit overpowered. Although, you know, it'd be interesting, I suppose. Um, as I was saying, they're, de they're currently down to two hunters, so things might be a little bit quieter. They're also in heavy trucks, so they can't chase me quite as quickly as they might otherwise. Um, and that's that's basically the, uh, the way the game's going to go. Uh, as always, we've got the radar turned off for everybody except the controller, so I'm limited to what I can see with my own eyes. Now one of the, there's a truck going over that bridge. <laughs> I was going to say one of the advantages of playing like this is that we, albeit I don't have to be paranoid about every single sports car I see. I only have to worry about the big trucks because that's all they're going to be using. Uh, but on the flip side, it does mean because there's fewer big 
trucks around. Every time I see one, I'm going to get paranoid. Like that, that delivery van there, that, that could be one of them. I think. I th I'm not sure if we're really allowing delivery vans. I, well, I'm not going to use one, just in case. But uh, if they do, I won't hold it against them. Of course, the truck is much better at pushing other vehicles out of the way. So, um, and now as I'm going in a straight line, I'm going quite well. I've got a reasonable turn of speed. But, ooh. But I can't turn round and I can't corner as well as I would normally do. <laughs> I am also aware, of course, that heading in a straight line for a long time is an extremely bad idea and is liable to get me killed, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to head off this way now. Um, but with these trucks, changing direction so that you're not heading in a straight line all the time is also quite difficult. That's a cement mixer. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> uh, that was a well, that was interesting. <laughs> it looks like my truck is slightly heavier than his truck, in the way I managed to barge him out of the way then. <laughs> oh, I've lost a tyre. I've lost two tyres, in fact, um, from the same wheel. Now, we're going to find out how much that actually matters on one of these trucks. Because I do still have quite a lot of tyres left. Um, six, eight tyres, I think? I'm assuming the front wheels are single tyre wheels. Get out of the way, car. Let's try and hide behind that van. Um, is he still following? Yes, he is. Oh, there's two of them now. They're still shooting. Oh, dear. There is basically no way I'm going to get away from them because I'm driving a truck. <laughs> it's too slow for any of those, any sort of escape. Any hope of escape. But it's also a fairly resilient vehicle. And it's not like they can skip around. Oh, there's another tire gone. <laughs> oh, he hit. That was lucky for me. That was slightly less lucky. Can I cause him to have an accident? I don't know. It's. it's uh, oh, oh no, this is a dead end. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Although it does seem they can't actually do any significant... They can't shoot through the cab. <laughs> That's quite funny. But I suspect eventually, knowing what GTA physics tends to be like, if I get hit too much, I suspect the truck will catch fire and explode. Is that a grenade? Is he throwing grenades at me? Maybe not. Okay. I, I, I take back my uh, sound of defense. Okay, the police have turned up. This might work in my favour. <laughs> oh dear, he's going around the front. That's going to give him a much clearer shot at me. I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to keep the back of my truck pointed towards where any sort of... I haven't got enough torque get through here. My other question, where's the other hunter gone? And am I get yeah, I'm going to get killed by the cops in this road. Oh. Well, killed by the cops. I don't know whether that counts as a loss or not. <laughs> we'll have to discuss that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to give Lawrence a little bit longer. Because he got himself lined up and he's gone into one... If we started now, we can just form barricade across the end of the island that he's on, which only has one exit. Literally okay, just barricade him <laughs> and go him down. And that wouldn't be very, it'd be very funny, but also, I think we should probably reset if that happens. Um, so that's, that's the question, yeah. is do we go for it, barricade him in and have a massive laugh at his expense? The thing is, he might be able to actually bump us out of the way. Okay, let's do it then. Okay. So, could you please come out of the uh, Simeon Docks area? <laughs> and just proceed up the road a little bit, and then we're going to turn left. And we're going to be forming a barricade. Okay, this this is um, this is not good. Okay. Uh, so, do, 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 do. so at the junction, which is brief, about three hundred miles away from you. No, uh, okay, turn left there, Paul. And Matt. Hopefully you can still see that left as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, and then Paul keep going, and then there's a turning on your right, which looks like it goes over a bridge. 
And just uh, after that, I want you to form a barricade. Okay. So just after that turn there, yep. No, 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 not after the bridge, sorry, on, on, that, on that junction. And so, um, Matt, stop. And Lawrence is right. going towards you. Oh, no, he's not. Where's he going? Well, he can't go off, so... Well, can, can you actually get up onto the highway? You might be able to get on the highway. So, Paul, if you go back down to where Matt is... Um, uh, where is Matt? Okay, yep. Yep, and the pair of you form, just put your vehicles, basically, form your barricade, um, to prevent him from going up to either of those two bridges. He's coming towards you, you might have seen him, he might not. He's only about 100 metres south. Has he, ah, okay, right, in that case, go back the way you came, he's, he's going on what looks like a railway. So he's, there is a railway bridge off the, the island. Oh, wow. Which he seems to jump onto. The yes, railway bridge. Okay, every time so you change car, it swaps to the SMG as well. There is, back where you came. He's on the train line at the moment. Let's see what's in Uh, okay. Yep, so keep left. Sorry, I didn't realise you were behind me. Okay, take the next left. And go left again. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's episode of the elephant race. Yeah. Okay, he's... You are on the same road, so he's quite a long way ahead of you. But it's on the train tracks. Train! <laughs> oh my god. Looks like he's crashed. Oh, he's crashed in the storm drain, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I just Keep following the railway. Stay on the tracks. Although, we're kind of above him at the moment. Um, yo, yo, no, keep going straight, keep going straight, keep going straight. That, okay. Uh, I thought I could get down there, no mind. Okay, Paul, take the next left. Actually, Matt, keep going across the bridge. Oh, no mind. Yeah, so turn, turn left, Matt, uh, okay. take the next left. Turn uh, left. Bloody civilians. So he's currently downtown, heading north, so Paul, turn... No, keep going, Paul. Matt, turn left. Then Paul, take the next le uh, next right. Oh my God, the handbrake turn! <laughs> oh dear! And Paul, bear left, yep. Yeah. And Matt, keep going straight. And then, yep, keep going that way, Paul. Matt, keep going straight. Paul turn right, and Matt turn right. Okay, and both take the next left. Okay, Matt. He's going to pass in front of you shortly. Paul, take the next left. I have a bad turn. feeling about this. Ah, Matt, he's just turned towards you. That's him. Paul, turn left. Uh, I couldn't get him. <laughs> no worries. You can see him though. At least that's something. And then Paul, take the next left. And you will come up behind Matt. I can see Matt, Joe. Yeah. Yep. No worries. So Lawrence is in front of Matt. It looks like he's hit something there. Matt is now alongside Lawrence, they've turned left. So pull left there. Okay, so Lawrence is in the lead. Uh, turning right. He's proceeding along Adams Apple Boulevard, he's turned left onto Legion Square. I hope you're memorizing this religion. He's turned left again onto Pillbox Hill. 
then. Is that under? Yeah. Yeah. He's now under I the... I think we've got all of his wheels on one side. Excellent. And he's turned left onto... Come on, Skip. How are you taking out all of his left tyres by any chance? Because he's just on a big left loop. Him or him or I am else. pitching him now. Oh, man. oh no, this is a dead end. I don't even know where you are. Like, I can see you. Just We've got him trapped in the garage, but we can't shoot the young um, car out. Yeah. Uh, is there another way out of that garage? It doesn't look like it on my screen. But then again, my screen no. just literally has a little grey line. It looks like he's reversing towards you. No, he's going forward. I yeah. think there's a way through there. No. Yeah. No, it's it's blocked. Because one of you wants to run in there on the fucking You know what? That's not a bad idea. Even the SMG can't go through that cab. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm wasted. Don't worry, he's about to die as well. He's blocked here and the police are surrounding him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got no wheel. Okay, so uh, turn left down the road, Matt. Turn left down the road, Paul. Paul, go at the... Um... Oh, we need Carl. You don't, yeah, you really don't. He's not gone anywhere. Um, so turn left there, Paul. You're yes. actually there. Oh, yeah. Good work. On foot, you're actually faster than you were in the vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. 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 <laughs>